Yo, what's up, YouTube? So today we're checking out episode four, five, and six of WandaVision. And honestly, man, this show was such a mystery. It was mysterious, and I'm honestly really into it. There's so. like nothing we can even really say because how mysterious that just was. Absolutely. Like, we just have to watch. I'm excited to dive in and try to figure out what's going on, guys. So we didn't really try to match today. It just ended up that way. She got dressed on her own, and then I got dressed in here, and we matched. So let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, who's this? Was that the Thanos snap thing? It looked like it. It was. Okay, someone's back. So she was victim to that? Is this people coming back? They're all coming back. We don't have any capacity. I'm looking for a patient in room 104. Hold on, I have a question about this. Can we pause this for one second? Please, by all means. If they came back, does that mean like that hospital's been in the same place, but it's just like the years later? Right, yeah. But so they were there when, when the thing went down and they just like yeah it looks okay. like they were the people that was in the hospital and then they disappeared and they are all coming back like remember the guy in the room i don't know if you caught that scene but the guy reappeared standing beside the bed with a patient in it i'm assuming he was standing there with maybe someone from his family that maybe isn't there anymore or passed away and then he came back and there was a completely different patient in the bed oh okay yeah that's what i'm okay well i've been in a room since you came back from the surgery i i, I mean I, I might have fallen asleep but no longer is than that 20 minutes Tyler, where's my mom no your mom? no there she died, honey. I thought it was Aunt May, too. Is that what you're thinking, too? Yeah. The cancer came back. My mom is Maria Rambo. Who's from that? Captain Marvel. Oh, the pilot lady. Yeah. Oh, that's the daughter. Oh, oh yeah. okay. I see. I see. No, that no, makes sense. Okay. Years after you, her, I, what? After you disappeared. Crazy. It's crazy to see, like, the aftermath of people coming back. We have not seen that. We just, like, heard about it. That was wild, man. That was confusing, kind of, but good catch, though, about the Rambo thing. Well, yeah, only because the comments told me to remember her name. <laughs> just being honest. That helps, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> I didn't know why. <laughs> Sword Headquarters, Sentient Weapon Observation Response Division. There's a sword right there. Isn't that crazy that it's sword, but then there's one called shield. What's gonna be Sword next? and shield, yeah. Knife. Spear, the spear division <laughs> in Wakanda. I have a meeting hey, with- you know who this is? This guy. Captain Monica Rambo. Director, Tyler Hayward. Acting director. And you look old as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because in Spider-Man, all those kids hit like puberty. <laughs> they yeah. like went through it without like having to go through it. How are the numbers for the astronaut training program? The program hasn't been the same since you've been up there, Rambo. Space is now full of unexpected threats. Wow. So they expanded, huh? Mm -hmm. But she's like following in her mom's footsteps. I just want to acknowledge the awkwardness of the situation. I know Sword's your home. Your mom built this place from the ground up. Dang. You grew up here. You should have been here to help name the replacement. You were the obvious choice. I was the only choice. I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> you know the job you have to do. I'm here to do mine. Let's get you back out there. The I don't know FBI if I trust this guy. is in a tizzy over a missing persons case. Missing persons? I know, but they've requested use of one of our imaging drones, and I need a chaperone. Tyler, drones usually chaperone me. You don't have to worry about me. I'm good. There's no easy way to say this, but you're grounded. Terrestrial missions only. <laughs> well, who, whose protocol is this? Your mother's. She implemented guidelines in the event vanished personnel ever returned. There is one positive takeaway. She believed you'd come back. Oh. You'd be doing me a big favor with this FBI thing, but if- I'm good to go. Excellent. Keep me updated, Captain. So she's not doing her space stuff. She's having to do some domestic stuff. Yeah, he said terrestrial only. <laughs> you got a New Jersey accent for us, baby? Yeah, New Jersey. New Jersey. I think it's funny people from New Jersey call trash cans garbage cans. Gotta take out the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get off your ass and take out the garbage? Yeah, we all say garbage instead of trash. Comment below right now. <laughs> James E. Woo. Woo woo. FBI. Let's go. Monica Rambo. Sword. I've got a witness set up down the road in Westview, and this morning it looked like he flew the coop. Your missing person is in the witness protection program. I have contacted known associates, relatives. None of them have ever heard of him. Uh oh. Something hmm. seemed hanky to me, so I took the first flight out of Oakland to interface with local law enforcement, which is when I encountered a new wrinkle. What is that? Would you mind repeating your claim about Westview to my colleague here? No such place. <laughs> Yeah, they're right at the sign. Right. <laughs> you're telling your G-man here, but he won't listen. I'm sorry, what, what town are you from? Eastview. Are they messing with them or something? That's what I, I don't know. So you can't reach anyone inside and everyone on the outside has some sort of selective amnesia. This isn't a missing persons case, Captain Rambo. It's a missing town. Population 3,892. Why haven't you gone inside to investigate? Because it doesn't want me to. Nobody's supposed to go in. What? So he's saying everybody's just walking around the town, pretending the town's not there? The helicopter? But the one she found was red. Yeah, well, it didn't look like Bakersfield that. Originally. 
Growing up, other kids had Michael Jordan posters on their walls, but I had Elliot Ness. Why is it that you have an awareness of Westview? For me, for that matter. Because we are outside of a certain radius, or maybe because we don't have a personal connection. Wait, way to go. Oh, wow. Right oh, I see, I see. So there's like a hologram or something? Like that Spider-Man villain. Maybe that's why we got that. So like introduce that technology. Okay. Like illusions and stuff. That's like a force field, right? Type looking thing? Some sort of... Oh, energy field. Energy field. Rambo. <laughs> Captain Rambo. Is that how she got in there? Captain Rambo! Because she was like homeless, they said? It's the girl from Thor. <laughs> the funny one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your field? We're not supposed to talk to each other. Nuclear biology. Artificial intelligence. Astrophysics. It means whatever the threat is, Sword clearly has no idea what they're dealing with. I'm a chemical engineer. No one cares. I thought she didn't have skills though. I thought that was, <laughs> I thought they always said that, that she was just an assistant. Right. Oh, so the base obviously is they're just set up like somewhere outside of the town. I don't know, cause that's where that girl was just- Yeah, see? And they don't know nothing about it. The drones are going in. So they called her there. Oh, so they can see the town? Those drones are sending in. I'm afraid that's highly classified. FBI, Army, it's all the Air Force Office of Special Investigations out there. Research Lab, Space Command 2. Is there somewhere a lady could get a cup of coffee? You guys look like you might get down with those little pod things. <laughs> Horrendous for the environment. You know? Make your assessment, please. <laughs> I mean, what? What are you getting? Lossal amount of CMBR. CM. Cosmic microwave background radiation. We've been told the radiation is within a safe limit. It is for now they're longer dang wavelength. that's the same they're stuff that's left over after a big bang oh really yeah called cosmic uh yeah. background radiation you can see it expanding and that's how you know it came from a singular point in space and time oh wow so whatever created this town i guess like you know what i'm saying created it what is that i need a tv an old one like not flat it kind of looked like an old radar system or something yeah. did it not so that signal that symbol wasn't a hydra symbol it was the sword Listen. symbol right the okay will take you straight into town Try to find anything you can on Rambo. Top of that. Damn, I don't even remember what the Hydra symbol looks like. An octopus. Yeah, that's right. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Between you, me, and the bedpost, I am not confident about this mission. Is this like back in time? There's no reason to suspect the perimeter doesn't extend subterraneously. This is we right after Thanos, the nature, right? The yeah, but can we pause this for a second? To return. Someone what? was really missing. Remember she like seen Sorry, some, guys. Remember she seen some dude pop up from a pothole? And they just sent a dude through a tunnel? Is this like previously? Cause is this the same dude? Bro, I don't know, but if you asking me questions that I just don't possibly know yet. But that's a good observation though. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I'm just saying the only thing is he didn't have bees on him, so I don't like what's going on in there. She got thrown out of there. So obviously while you're inside, you're in like freaking sitcom land or something. Maybe. And that's why they see they so they like They see, see it as a normal town, yeah, but in reality it's a sitcom. There's like a new reality in there. Uh, what the heck? This is weird. Dude. I know it's like, so what confusing is and that's why I just I didn't see the bees. That's why I was like, that can't be that same guy, but sorry guys, not trying to be annoying positive, but this is this is like a mystery. This is a game yeah. of clue right here. What do we have up? Radar, LIDAR, SODAR, infrared. This is fun to try to figure out though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Like, yeah, this it's, is good. It's kind of confusing though. <laughs> is that? It looks like her. You move at the speed of sound and I can make a pen plug. What the? That's episode one, right? Crazy few years on this planet, but he's dead, right? Not my right. Life. Like, Excellent plan. dead. What am I looking at? Where's this coming from? Out there. I'm not sure how to answer that. Is it happening in real time? Is it recorded, fabricated? I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know. What do you know? <laughs> My equipment registered an extremely high level of CMBR. That's relic radiation dating back to the Big Bang. Entwined was a broadcast frequency, oh, so yeah. I had your goons pick me up a sweet vintage TV, and when I plug this bad boy in, voila, sound and picture. Dinner is. What the hell? Go back. Voila! Well, that was, that's Viola. I thought it was W A L A, like voila. <laughs> what the hell? Viola. Voila. I don't know, guys. What is that, French? You obviously don't read subtitles. I, I don't. <laughs> I found that so out saying many the moons ago from a subtitles. Starring two Avengers? It's a working theory. Get me a transport back to headquarters now. So there's like a miniature this? alternate universe. I need immediate analysis. Maybe I could get that coffee now? Mm -hmm. Or not? That's cool. You think those names are gonna mean anything at the end? First and sure foremost, our main something. objective is to get any intel on Captain Rambo. But originally, this case was a missing person, so we're going to start there. We successfully identified two individuals inside the Westview anomaly. 
<laughs> Let's keep going. Avilash Tandon as Norm. Harold Popter as Jones. You got Isabel Matsueda cast as Beverly. John Collins as Herb. So they're actual people. Does she seem okay to you? Well, she doesn't appear to be harmed in any way, but that is definitely not the boss lady I met yesterday. So what, deep cover? Monica has to play along? What are we looking at here? Is it an alternate reality, time travel, some cockamamie social experiment? A 1950s sitcom. I do have an idea. You've seen that radio on Wanda's kitchen counter, right? The next time she's washing dishes, which by my count happens about once an episode, barf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll shoot a signal to that little guy. Transmitter will mimic the frequency of the broadcast. If my theory is right, allow us to speak directly to her. Is this from the current episode? Aired about two minutes ago. What is it? What does it look like to you? Like a retro version of a sword drone? Bingo. But how did it change and why? Like a retro version? Production design? Or render it useless. Why'd you colorize it? I didn't. Oh, wow. Let's get the show on the road. So that's the one, he said that's the one they sent in? They tried to send one in, but it didn't look like that. They think it got like altered. Let's see. But they don't know why. I don't know why either. Uh, Jimmy, Monica is talking to Wanda. She's got a speaking part now. <laughs> what is she saying? She likes Wanda's pants. Ugh, Wanda's at some sort of swim club. We've never been here before. Is it the 60s still? Uh, Wanda's with another character. A real person. Uh, radio on the side table. Start talking. Wanda, Wanda, can you read me? Over. Oh, that was him. You see what I'm saying? Can so you it, hear me? It is like past, I don't think right? So. Keep trying. Okay. Wanda. Who's doing the C, Wanda? Wanda, can you hear me? I'm here to help. Pop quiz, Wanda. How does a housewife get a blood stain out of weight doing it herself? That was weird. What was? That was weird, I remember. It's over, mission failure. Good effort, Doctor. Yeah, this is weird. In. So it went to commercial break when they started to, like, get in there? Like when they when they could hear them. Like whenever they were communicating it yeah. glitched or something? Yeah, I remember that cut that girl's hand and then it went to a commercial. So they're trying to go through the to they're trying to go under the thing instead of That's the dude she saw, the beekeeper looking dude. Why is the jump rope on him now? Because it went in there and it changed, like it, it like it altered itself to like be something from the past or something. So wherever they're stuck, if it goes in, they turn into the past. I guess. But he has the symbol on still. Maybe it's been around. This is kind of like lost. Maybe back then they just pose as beekeepers. Oh yeah, she just said no, and then it goes back to where they were. 1950s, 1960s, and now the 70s. I can't believe Wanda and Vision are having a baby. So they're wondering if she's acting or not. Bro, I don't know what the heck they're wondering. Because she, her name's Geraldine in it, not Monica. So they're like, is she acting or is it like, because she went in there, she like just is different now? I guess she just, when she went over there, she was just forced to go into TV land. She's just playing the role. Right. What a twist. I'm invested. He was oh. cute, but... Did she just say the name Ultron? Has that happened before? A reference to our reality? No, never. No, I think you should leave. Who are you? Wow, this is different. What happened? Where'd she go? Not again. <sighs> what? There's nothing here. One second Monica is standing right there and the next she isn't. Someone is censoring the broadcast. But where's Rambo? There you go. Oh. Who are you? I don't know. The aspect ratio. Wanda. I'm just your neighbor. And how did you know about Ultron? You're not my neighbor. Right now you are trespassing here, and I want you to leave. See, she was red. I told you. What? But no one saw that mess. Wanda said you're a trespasser here, and I want you to leave. And then she like... Dang, she fixed it back real quick. Wanda? Where is Geraldine? Oh yeah, they were outside wondering where she was. Full circle, okay. Oh, she left, honey. She had to rush home. What is it? What's wrong? Wow. <gasps> we don't have to stay here. Is someone torturing her? We could go wherever we want. No, we can't. This is our home. Are you sure? That doctor couldn't leave, remember? Mm -hmm. I have everything under control. Are you okay? It's Wanda. It's all Wanda. Oh, like she's doing it. I think I figured it out. She's doing it. Wait, like she's got this whole, okay. Do you get what's going on? I kind of think so because vi the way Vision's acting, that's why. But why would he just be dead? I don't think he's real. I think she's just created like a fake little universe where he never died because she's the most powerful. That's why there's all those missing people because they're brainwashed or she like has them. Who's the most powerful character in Marvel? Is it Captain Marvel or is it Wanda? Which one was it again? 
there's like back and forth. People say one thing, people say another, but I heard it was Wanda. And I heard there's end credits on. This is just extremely fascinating and it's so much fun. It is so much yeah. fun to try to figure it out. So I'm uh, sure y'all felt the same way. I Actually, we heard y'all did feel the same way. She's and, the type who always wants to go to like an escape room and stuff. So yeah, I um, love figuring this stuff is her like type this of thing out right here. So, um, but what you said when she said it was all Wanda, it's you all said, Wanda. So you think she's behind all of this? Wanda doesn't Wanda have like extreme <laughs> powers? Like she can like yeah. get in your mind and stuff, mm -hmm. right? She's got like mutant powers and stuff. Wanda was the most powerful character in Marvel, was she not? I well, thought it was between her and Captain Marvel. They both well, were. people said that to us, but we never really got proven it because remember when she said that thing to. You know, she was like, you, um, what was the quote? He's like, I don't, I don't know, know you. who you are. She yeah, goes, she's like, will. you will. Yeah. But she still got defeated by him. So Right. Well, Thanos was a bad boy, though. Let's right. Not, he let's was not like, discredit he was Thanos. infinity sewned up, though, wasn't he? Right. So what appears to be the case, man, it really seems like Wanda, this happened right after Thanos. So maybe she's so devastated by the loss of Vision and everything that went down and she's lost. And it's all Wanda. So, I mean. I'm, like I said, I'm thinking of Charles because she's a mutant and she's psychic. I'm thinking maybe she just like created this world and she's just like well, living her little fantasy to be like Ultron, Vision's housewife. Yeah, and Ultron, remember, at the beginning, she could like switch anyone to do whatever she wanted. Yeah. So she's like using that power times like however big that town is. Yeah. Wow. Right. And there's still a lot of questions I have, though. Let's get into some more. Yeah, we, I feel like you just have to watch more. Yeah. Um, Literally every time we upload a video to YouTube, I have to do a manual request to get YouTube to like take the ad suitability off. It's so annoying. Even when it's videos that I know for a fact aren't going to get one, they still make me do it. It's very frustrating. Just a little background. Ne a little just cosmic next background episode, radiation. Right here. It's all Wanda. How does she just know that like that, though? She knew that right off the <clears> jump. <throat> well, maybe because when she... Oh, she saw Wanda conjuring the thing to send her back. Right. <laughs> she had a whole conversation with her. Yeah, <laughs> that's all it took. <laughs> this is like Full House. That's funny because their sister's on there. Come on now, darling. You know, we love them both equally. Well, don't tell him that. <laughs> this looks like a time change on it. They're wearing different clothes. Yeah, it looks like Full House. Fizz, mm. would you mind grabbing their binkies? Oh, binkies all round, I think. <laughs> I know parents aren't supposed to take shortcuts, but I think this situation calls for one. So, go to sleep, my babies. <laughs> it didn't work. And go to sleep. No matter how powerful you are. Well, I don't think it's very funny. Yeah, good luck. Why won't you do what I want? What's that deal? <laughs> that Ew. Those <laughs> so noise cancellation is not their primary function. Look, I think it's working. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing wrong? Oh, don't worry, dear. We'll figure it out. Perhaps we all need more time to get to know one another. Or maybe we just need some help. Oh. Hiya, kid. Oh, no. <laughs> Agnes, I was just... <laughs> he had to hide real quick. <laughs> Auntie Agnes is here, and I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve. Well, be careful of their belly buttons, and remember to support their heads. And when was the last time you washed your hands? Actually, it was just maybe we better not. Should we just take it from the top? What the what? heck? It's like a set. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. Vision, let's let's let Agnes give it a try. <laughs> what was what the that with Agnes just now? <laughs> well, I think she just got confused for a moment. She seems fine now. But what she said, the way she looked at you. How did she look at me? Well, I did Oh. Lavender. It's supposed to have a calming effect. Ralph sprays it on me every night, but there's no taming this tiger. What? <laughs> <laughs> so strange. Oh, that's not fair. It's not Agnes's fault that she has an unusually high libido. <laughs> did you really not see what I saw? Don't find me. I'm just looking for your dark liquor. Not for me. For the twins. What kind of babysitter do you think I am? <laughs> you and I both need a break, and Agnes is just being neighborly. That's all. Do you hear that? Hear what? Absolutely nothing. <gasps> They're empty. Then where are the twins? Mommy? Daddy? What the heck? How'd they get clothes on? Can't control them. I guess a little dark liquor. No matter how hard you try. Whoa, hi. So confused. <laughs> I 
how does he even have those photos? He was like an adult when he was born. I seen him. I'm seeing him be born. <laughs> right. Right. He was like Tony Stark's age. <laughs> There's Tommy. And Billy. <laughs> One through five. <laughs> that looked like the Scream Town, didn't it? With that gazebo bit, in yeah. the middle. The Scream Town was a little more open than that, though. But there was some. What's the first thing you do remember? Pain. And then Wanda's voice in my head. There was this feeling keeping me down, this hopeless feeling, like drowning. It was grief. Mighty glad to have you back, Cap. Uh, what's the latest? <clears throat> There's a briefing in 10. Pants are encouraged. This is Dr. Darcy Lewis. She's the one who discovered the broadcast. We're gonna need to take these again. There's something wrong with the machine. I need another blood draw. <laughs> no, no, no. We're done here. Yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> we done here. She does that. He said, she does that. <laughs> Warning, we are now assessing a clear picture of this crisis. We now have first person intel from inside the Westview anomaly. We now know she is the principal victimizer. Jimmy. Yeah, so she is doing it. What a twist, Quick history man. on our subject. Born in Sokovia in 1989 to Irina and Oleg Maximov. The twins were subsequently radicalized volunteering at Hydra. <laughs> After unspecified experimentation with the Mind Stone. Does Maximov have an alias? No, sir. And earliest track had her using her powers against the Avengers. Lagos and Germany. We all know how that turned out. She did I do see. that. Remember you were mm -hmm. cheering for it <laughs> in real time? You're yeah. like, yeah. Now that we have the lay of the land, let's talk about strategy. I uh, try not to speak of ill of people. Then allow me. Hey, what's it do? Terrorists. Wanda's not a terrorist. I don't believe she has a political agenda or any inclination toward destruction. She's holding thousands of people hostage. And it could have been thousands more if she hadn't put up her own quarantine. I don't believe this is a premeditated act of aggression. Very recently, it was the top secret location of the Vision's corpse. Dang, she just walked in. GTA style, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, look. Well, why y'all dismembering him like ago, that? Maximoff stormed our facility, stole the Vision's body, and resurrected him. But that's in direct violation of resurrected him. of the Sokovia Accords. And the Vision's own living will. Maximoff, in her grief, disregarded his wishes. The Vision didn't want that. What? But how did she even do it? Bring him back without the Mind Stone. She has the world's only vibranium synthesoid playing father knows best in suburbia. What happens when he learns the truth? So he's actually alive right now. I thought he was like a figment of her imagination. Right, but she saw him dead. So what does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe the, she, but we have to get the universe is saying that's what should be. Unless you're innocently forming a human wall in front of the <laughs> kitchen sink. Now tell me which one of you just barked. Scoot. <laughs> Oh boy. Wait, or what's this canine doing in my kitchen sink? Can we keep him, mommy? Well, I'm sure his owner's missing oh. very much. There what happened? Really a stray dog don't no walk color. through? Can we keep him? Oh. Now, boys, taking care of a living thing is a big responsibility. Dogs need food, exercise, training, belly rubs, and cuddles and kisses between his little ears. <laughs> They're keeping them. Morning, boys. Good morning, unfamiliar word animal. Who's this? Why so formal, honey? Oh, it's just a precaution, really. I had a hunch someone might pop over. Hi, kiddos. With exactly the item we require. <laughs> so he's suspicious. Right. He's starting to recognize the patterns. <laughs> Did you name him yet? How about Sparky? Well, should we make it official? I wonder. Agnes was right there. Well, she didn't notice. She, she didn't needs notice to zip up some outlet plugs. Five year olds. <laughs> you made no effort to conceal your abilities. Well, I'm tired of hiding this. And maybe you don't have to either. Wonder, we are usually so much of the same mind. What aren't you telling me? So, Sparky, your dog daddy? Your father and I don't think you're ready to properly care for an animal until you're at least. Ten. <laughs> Ten years old. Oh. Let's just hope this dog stays the same size. She's like the corny background character of the sitcom. <laughs> like, what in the world? She's the, also, they always have an annoying neighbor. Right. What I miss? The twins aged up to 10. Holy Christmas, at this rate, they'll be empty nesters by dinner time. <laughs> or are they acting like they like it? <laughs> right. I can't guarantee the hex won't just mind wipe you as you go in. What's a hex? Hexagonal shape. It's starting to catch on. What's that mean, babe? You really space. want to go back in there after everything she's put you through? Or space technology. 
Yeah. Have we identified these minors yet, or the newborns? Wanda's twins are hers. Everything might look fake in the TV, but everything in there is real. But Wanda manipulates people's perceptions, makes them hallucinate. Yeah, that's her whole bag. All the sets and props and wardrobe are solid matter. That would mean she's wielding an insane amount of power. Far exceeding anything she's displayed in the past. Yeah, like godlike power, literally. She could have taken literally. out Thanos on her own if he hadn't initiated a blitz. Nobody else came close. Well, I'd argue that Captain Marvel came close. <laughs> that's the argument you're talking about? But the Captain Marvel Wanda argument. So Wanda created those humans that quick? Like she like for that. Bro, I don't even know, man. She is so powerful. Are we being mind controlled to see that right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. So everything she made was real. Wanda made that. Whoa! What the heck? Those pants are 87% Kevlar. Wanda is rewriting reality. Oh, that's why the, the helicopter look different. Things as they go into the hex. Ah, you called it the hex. <laughs> what happens if we send something in that requires no change? No change. So you're telling me this is a typewriter, a Rolodex, and a calendar all in one? What else are you gonna do? Find me a wife? Eventually, yes. It's like you speak their language. We surf the internet. Cowabunga, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Cowabunga, dude. You hear that dollop? <laughs> we got electronic mail already. They ain't got 64 mail. gigabytes of RAM, though. What are you looking for? Letter opener. Ah, we don't need that. We're already cutting edge. Sword. Top secret communique. Authenticate. Please, Please advise. advise. <laughs> well, come on, pal. What are we going to write back? You're the office funny guy. <laughs> Can't you tell? None of it is real. <laughs> Please help me. What day is it? I have to call my sister. No. She's taking care of her dad. He's sick. You have to stop her. Stop who? He's in my head. None of it is my own. It hurts so much. Just make her stop! If I send an email, where would I put the stamp? Oh. <laughs> so wow. Wanda's in all of their heads, like, making Technology. them play the role. And they all feel her grief, apparently, because that's what Monica said. Sit, Sparky. Sit. Good dog. Speak. Thanks, Sparky. Good dog. Oh, bravo, Billy. <laughs> That was radical. Where's dad? You gotta go, she's dad. Oh, Did they say that in the 80s a lot or something? <laughs> or is this the 90s? There was an emergency at the office and your father had to go in. End of story. He just, he needed a distraction. From what? From us? Sometimes your dad and I aren't on the same page. But that's There's music just in the background. <laughs> temporary. Like the two of you, you might fight over toys, but he's always going to be your brother and he's always going to be yours because family is forever. Do you have a brother, Mom? I do. He's far away from here, and that makes me sad. Hey, Sparky, what's up, boy? Something's scaring him. The government agents are in there. That you hear like a helicopter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <gasps> Sparky! <laughs> oh, they got in. Oh, that's I know the drone. This is tech from the 80s, but can we sharpen the visuals? Maximoff located. Well done. We can't see the drone on the broadcast. Wanda's framing it out of the shot. Just like all the jump cuts. Wanda <laughs> decides what makes it onto her show and what doesn't. Yeah, she's got editorial control. I know. Wanda, this is Captain Monica Rambo. Can you hear me? I just want to talk. That's it. Reconnect patch. Disregard. Take the shot. What? Take the no, shot. the drone isn't armed. Take the shot. You can't shoot her, bro. It was armed? Break, sir. You ain't gonna kill her with something armed on a drone, that's for sure. Not if she's doing all that, you're wild. Is that her? That is her. Oh, she has that thing. Is this yours? Missile was just a precaution. Hardly blame us, Wanda. Oh, I think I can. Stay out of my home. You don't bother me, I won't bother you. You've taken an entire town hostage. Well, I'm not the one with the guns, Director. But you are the one in control. You're still here. Chill, Wanda, ladies. I didn't know the drones were armed. But you know that, don't you? A town full of civilians and you, a telepath, brought a sword agent into your home. On some level, Wanda, you know I am an ally. I want to help you. How? What could you possibly have to offer me? I have what I want, and no one will ever take it from me again. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, she's mind controlling them. Dang. Man, she should have brought Tony Stark back. That's her cameo. Oh, you've got a mess. commercial, and you're still using the next leading brand. Don't need a sham. Woohoo! <laughs> you need Lagos brand paper towels. Husbands can use it too, you know. 
<laughs> husband's going to use it too, you know? But when you make a mess, you didn't mean to. Hey, I'll be cleaning in my house. Oh, that's symbolism because Lagos, there was a mess in Lagos that Juan deserted. Right. And it said, if you make a mess, you didn't mean to. She's like making subliminal commercials. I don't know where he could have gone. Here, boy. Sparky. Sparky. Is she even mind controlling the dog? I don't know. I didn't want to come until I had wrapped him up. Found him in my azalea bushes. Tommy. Billy. I'm so sorry. Don't. Don't. Don't what? Don't age yourselves up. The urge to run from this feeling is powerful. You can fix anything, Mom. Fix it dead. No. You can do that? There are roles in life. Okay? We can't rush aging just because it's convenient. We can't reverse death, no matter how sad it makes us. Right. And things aren't forever. How are the boys? All heartbroken, but they'll be all right. Well, it's not often you get a dog and bear it in the same day. Well, life moves pretty fast out in the suburbs. <laughs> she was like pretty casual. I spoke with Norm. Do you think her life's speeding oh. by though? Because she knows that eventually they're gonna make her come out of there. So Maybe. she's just trying to hurry up and live it. Free of your oversight. Uh oh. He was in pain one. Listen, can we just... what? watch TV? Turn in for the night so you can change everything over again. No, you can't control me the way you do them. Can't I? I'm going to bed. <laughs> no, we're not done here. What is the maximum of a nominee? She just puts the credit on, credits on. <laughs> Norm has a family. What the? He has a family and he can't reach them because you won't let him reach them. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop lying to me. Oh my God. All of this is for us. What is outside of West? You don't want to know, I promise you. You don't get to make that choice for me, Wanda. You've never talked to me like this before. I don't know who I am. I'm scared. You are my husband. You're Tommy and Billy's father. Isn't that enough? Why are there no other children in West? Look, there are, just stop it. Oh no. Really think that I am controlling everything. I, I am somehow in charge of everybody in Westview. I don't know how any of this started in the first place. What you're doing here, it's wrong. I... It is wrong. Hopefully it's Agnes. Hopefully, because this thing's falling apart. I don't mm -hmm. that. You don't believe me. Well, who was it? I Tony know. Stark? I mean, I know it's not gonna be Tony Stark, but wouldn't that be dope though? Because yeah. he died too. Wonder who is this? Silver. Whoa, 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 whoa. Her brother. Yeah, that's gotta be the brother, right? Quicksilver. He died in Ultron though. Boom. But that's not the one that died in Ultron. That is why we had to watch the X-Men universe. Okay. Almost broke it to squeeze his stinking sister to death or what? Recast Pietro? Oh, Why'd man. she do that? My brain's going crazy. I'm sitting here thinking, is the whole entire X-Men universe somehow a, a, a result of her in a way? You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know. Oh my gosh, y'all. I don't even want to speculate on this one. Let's just make sure there ain't no end screen. So she she recasted him herself. It, it was that guy with the that looked like, you know, Cowabunga dude. Now it's just the guy from the X-Men. Aw. I can't believe this is almost over though. I'm kind of sad about it. Nineties? <laughs> Gotta be. Oh look, he's just vision now. Yeah, they're not having those powers, are they? Mm -mm. <laughs> Agnes. But they took Wanda's last name because I guess Vision doesn't have one. Crazy. Halloween's a magical holiday. Thrill of getting to be someone else for a day. Halloween's about candy and scaring people, but mostly candy. Where's your costume, Tommy? Man. Mm. He even snores cool. Uncle Pietro. <laughs> Don't! He's your uncle. Why would I be scared? Secretly afraid he's a vampire. Oh, no! Is he about to be Russian? Oh, what he is. Whoa, Mom. Are you old Red Riding Hood? I'm a Sokovian fortune teller. <laughs> oh. Wow, that is so Rad. lame. Lame. Worse than the costumes Mom made us the year we got typhus. That's Sokovia? <laughs> That's you get exactly a fish, probably. <laughs> You probably suppressed a lot of the trauma. Mom's been weird since Uncle Pietro got here. I think it's because she hasn't seen him in a long time. And he's what you call a man child. <laughs> Sweet costume, bro, ham in law. Let me guess. Uh, traffic light, half shuck corn, a booger. Yes. Yes! Thank you for humoring me and wearing this ridiculous get up, honey. Well, there were no other clothes in my closet, so. <laughs> <laughs> she made him. You are incorrigible, darling. I know you have a secret thing for Mexican wrestling. Me gusta mucho. <laughs> Chili con carne. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> what do you say, boys? Who's ready for that first hit of high fructose corn syrup? Never told me much about your brother. I had no idea he'd be so. Go! 
<laughs> Great with kids. <laughs> He's just full of surprises. You have fun tonight, darling. <laughs> what do you mean? You're all dressed and ready to go. I'm undercover. Halloween is a bacchanal. No, that's not what you're supposed to. What? You didn't tell me you had plans. I am telling you now. Oh, yeah, she can't control him. Right. And not fighting, just like different. It's their first Halloween. You have to be there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the big deal, yo? Big guy is a conflict. Twins need a father figure. That'd be so tonight. annoying. Don't sweat it, sis. I got the old XY chromosome. Uncle Petey the rescue, huh? There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> you have a spooky time tonight, kid. Wonder. Be good. Oh, no. <laughs> I smell crime. What exactly is he gonna go do? Ah! Don't do that! Where do you keep your water balloons? We don't have water balloons. <laughs> Where are we gonna put all the shaving cream? It's Billy's idea. I'm Tommy. And don't you forget it! You don't even <laughs> have a costume. Remember that this is a respectable family. If I see any funny business, I am going to magic you into a pickled herring. <laughs> Why does he got Wolverine here? <laughs> I wanna see a full workup inside the hour. Hey, work. <laughs> Yes, sir. Hey, you cut us off at the knees sending in that missile. Now we know who we're dealing with. Hey, there he is. Guy who almost got murdered by his own murder squad. You work for me? I actually don't know. She's with me. <laughs> I, see. I actually don't know. A sassy best friend. There's no time for you to diminish your colleagues. You're about to start a war you can't win. Maximoff was never going to negotiate with us. We take her out, this whole nightmare ends. We actually have no idea what will happen in there or out here if Wanda dies. Surrender to that? Not happening. We can't outgun her. If Wanda is the problem, she has to be our solution. Captain Rambo, you have become an impediment to this mission. Well, you're planning yes, on a work genius. With Carol Danvers. Shoot her with missiles. Good idea. People who left still have the luxury of optimism. They don't even work against the Hulk. You have no idea what it was like. Don't use the last five years as an excuse to be a coward. Maybe it's a good thing you weren't here when your mother died, because clearly you don't have the stomach for this job. Pretty low, bro. <laughs> I know, Get right? off my base. Y'all don't need him. Y'all can figure it out. He was looking for a reason to sideline us. He's up to something. Let's go, everybody in. <laughs> okay, Wu. Why didn't anyone tell me the plan? <laughs> okay. I think you just have to know deep down that's the plan, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't have known that plan. <laughs> you saw Freddy Krueger? <laughs> Gandalf. <laughs> I think it's just a wizard, baby. <laughs> yeah, but all wizards are in Dr. Remember when we were at the orphanage after mom and dad died? What was the name of that kid who was always trying to steal your boots? You know, he was the one, he had the, he had the skin <laughs> thing. You're testing me. I know I look different. Why do you look different? You tell me. I mean, if I had found Shangri-La, I wouldn't want to be reminded of the past either. How about you let Uncle P help you maximize your candy acquisition, huh? Yeah, yeah. I feel the need. Boss me. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Herb. Oh, hey. How's patrol going? Eh, uh, quiet so far. All the candy has disappeared. Wow, what a terrible uncle. <laughs> now everyone's covered in silly string. <laughs> Sorry, what I got to bow. Well, maybe Vision can help you out. <laughs> oh, he's not on duty. No, I thought. Is there something I can do for you, Wanda? Want something changed? No, <laughs> it's fine. He just acted it's like fine. she was the boss, didn't he? <laughs> All right. right. <laughs> yeah, but why is she acting like she gets confused sometimes, though? Like, how in control is she, though? Because she can't control Vision, and he said he was on duty, so she can't do anything about that. Well, yeah, but why are these people, like, snapping at a character, though, against her will? I don't know. Like, why is she glitched? <laughs> Oh, she's crying. That's crazy. That's the like darkest thing I've seen so far on this. I'm so hungry, I'd eat anything. Hungry? I remember hungry. I used to be like that all the time. What did you do? Snacked on yo magic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some? He's a Billy Angus fan. <laughs> He's too weak to open it? Nothing's expired. Yo magic! The snack for survivors. What? What the heck was that? The parent trap was in so theaters. Late. Can't believe you're making them return. The Incredibles. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my part. Okay, come to town unexpectedly, create tension with the brother-in-law, stir up trouble with the Rugrats, and ultimately give you grief. I mean, <laughs> that's what you wanted, isn't it? What happened to your accent? What happened to yours? Details are fuzzy, man. I got shot like a chump in the street for no reason at all, and next thing I know, I heard you calling me. I knew you needed me. 
They've got full-size candy bars a few blocks up. <laughs> Gotta go. Next stop, Cavity Town. Right on, little dude. Yo, he can do that. You got super speed. I do. Whoa. Yeah. So he's a little baby quick somewhere. Yeah. Her oh. life just got so much more complicated. I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now she has to keep up with that. If you're going to break the sound barrier, please just take your brother with you. Just remember, don't, don't go past Ellis Avenue. Hey, be careful. Why was that so cute, man? I don't know. It's kind of scary that they can do that, though. Right. But it looks like only one of them has powers. Who is that? Yeah, they could sneak out so easy. <laughs> Dangerous. Be sneaking downstairs, eating snacks in the middle of the night. Just need to hack into the secure network on the base, Dunzo. Should be able to access the data on Hayward's devices. That's interesting. Guys, Hayward figured out a way to look through the boundary. And he didn't share it with the group. Uh-oh. He's holding, right here? holding information. No, the program is tracking the decay signature of vibranium. So vision, yeah. Wait, why is Hayward tracking vision? I don't know. This is all I can access so far. These other dots, those are Westview residents. So Hayward must have an accurate headcount by now. Some sense of their well-being. These people near the edge of town, they're barely moving. Are they alive? Oh, that's the ones that remember when vision was walking and that lady was like barely moving. Oh. He's near him, yeah, see? Yeah, it's like the mannequin challenge. Yeah. So I guess Wanda's powers aren't reaching very good near the barrier. Maybe she's just getting overwhelmed, so they're not stretching oh, yeah. as far. Well. Actually, I don't know my theory on that. <laughs> what a perfect cul-de-sac, though. Are those your children? Are you waiting for something? That's so scary. Why is that so creepy? Whoa. Let's go. That's the first time he's like looked like completely normal. Like with his cape and everything, he's flying. Oh. The neighbor? What are you doing here? Town Square Scare. Where is it? The Town Square, <laughs> I expect. Took a wrong turn. Got lost. In the town you grew up in? Yeah, how do you get lost there? <gasps> You're one of the Avengers. You're Vision. What? Are you here to help us? I am Vision. I do want to help. But what's an Avenger? Oh. He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember anything. Am I dead? No, no. Why would you think that? She might tell him. Because you are. Because I'm not. What? Dead, 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 dead! Agnes, it is my intention to reach those outside of Westview and make sense of our situation. No one leaves. Wanda won't even let us think about it. All is lost. Agnes, please, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I will fix this, Agnes, I promise. Okie dokie, neighbor. <laughs> that was some good acting by her. This show is actually like one of the better Marvel, like one of the better pieces of Marvel entertainment I've seen. This is Happy awesome. <laughs> like this is so like ominous and eerie and scary and dreadful. But and just, but just like heartfelt and wholesome at the same time. In some of the scenes, it's like Ellis Avenue. Oh, the kids can't go past there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, you're so smart, man. I'm glad I got you on the team, baby, because I'd be struggling without you. Smart. So this must be the end. Oh gosh. That's it. My way back into the hex will be here in an hour. Just gotta meet my guy over the ridge. You can't do that. Sure we can. I'm a whiz at hot wiring cars. You can't go back to the hex. <laughs> First case scenario, Wanda removes my free will and puts me in an ultra low rise gene. Hayward has your blood work. The energy inside has rewritten your cells on a molecular level twice. Oh my gosh. What if she gets powers because of that? Maybe. You get what I'm saying? Last me a lifetime. Cells metastasizing, cells in remission. I know what Wanda is feeling, and I won't stop until I help her. Man, that is a damn good friend right there for some reason. I know, but you never know okay. until you feel that. Maybe she like she said she felt like something here. was weighing on her and it was grief. What are you talking about? I haven't made it through Hayward's last firewall. There's something big here, something that can help us. I know it. I'll drop you the location. You meet us out there as soon as you can. Never sounds like a good plan, you know? Something's always, there's gonna be a hiccup. Right, the dude's gonna walk in and see her. She's alone, beats her up. She puts him to sleep with a needle <laughs> <laughs> or something, you know. Holy schmackaroni. <laughs> Damn it, if Westview, New Jersey isn't charming as hell. I know <laughs> that you, it really is nice, right? I think mom and dad would have loved it. I think they would have. Who, Magneto? Where were you hiding all these kids up till now? What? You handled the ethical considerations of this scenario as best you could. Families and couples stay together. People got better jobs, better haircuts for sure. You don't <laughs> think it's wrong. I'm impressed. It's a pretty big leap from giving people nightmares and shooting red wiggly woos out of your hands. Wiggly woos? How'd you even do all this? How does he know? I'm not some stranger, and I'm not your husband. You can talk to me. I don't know how I did it. I only remember feeling endless nothingness. 
<laughs> just like vision. Why is that happening? Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh -huh. And that's the Ultron Peter that died. Petro. So why was he dead? The other one's not dead. Because they weren't about to go get that guy to come faster. make an appearance. <laughs> Move out. Vision. What's he doing? Oh no. I hope he just doesn't try to walk through that. Maybe he feels like the only way he can help is from the outside. Or maybe he just has no idea what that is. You think he's gonna die when he leaves it? I don't know. Man. Do you think he's just gonna walk out there and they're he's they're gonna know it's vision and he's gonna talk to him? He's getting out. Okay, so he's capable of existing outside of it. But it's painful. It looks like he really does want out, doesn't he? Oh, it's like taking his pieces away. Did he hear him? Yo, he does got powers. Oh yeah, one is telepathic, right? Maybe he is too. Are you okay? Mom! Mom! What is it, Billy? I hear dad. He's in trouble. But he can hear vision and Wanda can't. What a sacrifice, Vision. I know. Please don't die, man, because then Wanda doesn't have to go through it all over oh again. Oh my gosh. Just go back in there. Oh my gosh. I don't understand what's happening to me. Where's your dad? Hey, don't sweat it, sis. It's not like your dead husband could die twice. Whoa. What a weird thing to say, bro. I need you to focus. Soldiers. They think he's dying. Oh, so he's reading the soldiers, not Vision. Fair enough. You better stomp it. What is she doing? Like, expanding the town? Are you serious right now? Is she trying to suck vision up? Yeah, it looks like she's expanding it to where he's at. Dude, she can't move. Oh. It was, oh, they turned into flagpoles. Oh, boy. She's stuck in there. Oh, my gosh. Hot air balloon. <laughs> What the heck? Rewriting reality. Right, so it basically goes in there and it's whatever you want. Whatever she wants, I guess. They're having a festival right now, so they're just turning into whatever that festival needs to be. <laughs> let's go, let's go, dude. I kind of hope it sucks him up so he'll be in it. Oh, really? Yeah, a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> she doesn't use cars a lot to be there forever. Yeah, but they had to change the years, too. It, went, it all went back in time. So she's expanding it. Y'all, she's powerful as hell. Oh, it's over? No shot. All right, guys. So that was WandaVision, man. Episode four, five, and six, babe. I I'm not even going to ask her what she thinks about this show. I'm just going to speak for you, and you let me know if I'm right. Okay. <laughs> You're super into it. You think it's extremely captivating. It's one of the. It's one of your favorite things you've ever seen, and there's so many elements twisted into one that... How could you put it down, right? Right. Am I close? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. How do I feel about it? I, I think you feel the same way because I I know on my side, I like the detectiveness of it and like the mysteries. And I know on your side, you like all this like space and like this like big science words. Big science words. Yeah, that's what you like. Uh oh. Hopefully that don't come out bad because yeah. we recorded with the fan on. Anyways. um. But yeah, anyways, you like big science words and things that like make you think about like realities and things like that you like that so i know you feel that way about this absolutely basically what i'm taking away from this show is she's just strong man she is powerful beyond right. maybe it took the loss and it took the experience and the growth of everything that we experienced up until this point for her to really understand like how her powerful powers she even she keeps is, making yeah. the statement that she doesn't know how she's doing it right in a sense. she's just doing it so I guess to her, on some level, it's like instinctual, right? Mm -hmm. 
like thinking back on Wanda, I remember the first time we saw her, it was on the end credit screen and she was just kind of going like this. And they were like the twins. I remember that. But then seeing her actually like do her use her powers and stuff, thinking back on it. Yeah, she was very powerful. But yeah, but was do I think she was capable of all of this? I would have never guessed that. Watching X-Men, though, like it kind of changes your perception on like mm. what powers can be. Yes. I mean, we saw what Magneto could do throughout yes. the series just with like the. Yeah, man. Basically, the thing that's really killing me, though, is how Vision doesn't recognize his past. And I was wondering when it was going to be exposed that he was dead and he figured it out in a really shocking way. That whole entire scene, the scene mm-hmm. with the lady crying was incredible so good, man. this that show was, was really good really really digging this one guys um so what do you think do you think they're gonna like now that they kind of expanded the town and all the people that are kind of like knowing what's going on they're kind of in it now um, well what do you think where, do you, where does it go where does it go so that's the thing like maybe this might just be setting up like the entire political landscape of the end of the new like of the new era of marvel yeah so okay we need you guys thank you so much for fixing thanos we appreciate you guys. We all live happily ever after. Wrong, right? The problem immediately becomes there's a narrative that Wanda is going to be like a terrorist. And people are going to look at what she was able to do, how many people she held captive, essentially. And, you know, the psychological, emotional, physical damage that she's caused. And I think it's really going to make the debate rage. And I think that's sort of the elements from X-Men being drug into the MCU. Mm-hmm. So I can see how those things might cross over. And maybe even bringing um, Quicksilver in from the X-Men universe. Was yeah, I don't know why over. he looks different. I mean, obviously they had to recast the character, right? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I understand that. And if you could recast the guy from the Marvel series for this dude, I can understand why you would do that to an extent because he's more famous and everyone knows. But Peter's you more. know what the computing co- confusing part is? Wanda and him, when they're going back and forth, they have different elements of their childhood. It's like he's the brother. It's almost like this is Vision from another parallel reality, and that's her her brother from another. Yeah, that's Vision from another reality, and that's Quicksilver from another reality. And maybe in those alternate realities, he looked different. And maybe she was so powerful that maybe in his reality, she died, you know? Right. And then maybe they just found each other. There's just a lot of questions on that. And like, Honestly, him making the low blows and stuff about it, it's like kind of just weird behavior for like. And then remember, he was like, I'm doing exactly what you want. You want me to come in town, be an annoying brother? Like, it's almost like she conjured it. In yeah, her head, like right? that's what she wants. Cause you, it kind of seems like she just wants the regular house life, but like to kind of use her powers. But she wants a regular house li- life with like kids and vision and the neighbor who always comes over and like helps them out. Like she just wants to live a regular life, but the only way she feels like she can do that maybe is. I'm still convinced that something's not going right in her. Right. I think so too. I think there's more to it. Because I think that. I'm not saying that someone's controlling her, but I just think that maybe she, something happened and she's just so out of it that maybe she's in like a dream state right. or something. Or she seems confused by the situation at times also. Or like when they were tracking Vision. I feel like something might go with that. Right. Like maybe they have to track Vision because Wanda took him. So they have to like do some. I don't know. Maybe they have to use Vision to get to Wanda or something. Possibly. Possibly. Um, All I know, man, is there's three more episodes of this. So if you are new here, man, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely go check out our Marvel journey from the beginning, man. Like obviously we started with Iron Man and we have we've tried to do it. We've tried to, you know, cross our T's and dot our I's to the best of our ability and we're going to continue to do that so it was worth to watch the x-men series i guess i'm just so invested at this point that's why i'm so into the show yeah because we've seen i feel like we've seen like all the required content and it's like it was necessary because we got a lot of backgrounds like just seeing that main cast without seeing the mcu would have been so confusing right yeah oh yeah right and we know their origins just a little bit not origins but we we have a little bit of knowledge of them right well we are into the multiverse now man and you guys were very you guys were definitely letting us know that going forward after Endgame, we are starting the multiverse saga or whatever. Because we were a, in the Infinity Wars. Now right. this is like the multiverse. So it's like different so, concepts. So things are about to get contradictory up in here. You right. know what I'm saying? Things are about to get really complicated. But yeah, man, thank you guys so much for supporting the videos. Thank you guys so much for showing us this show. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming over and hanging out with us for real. We do get lonely. Your company's awesome. And if, you know, just keep hitting us back up, man. We drop all kinds of stuff, guys. Uh, it can be anything from superhero movies, and I think we're about to put out Gladiator. Well, we just put out Gladiator and Tropic Thunder, and we're going to be putting out just all kinds of randomness. So just come join the channel, and let's go.
I don't want to be in this. I didn't volunteer for this. Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, Mrs. October's feeling insecure because she's busted, but guess what, guys? Thank you so much for the support on Patreon. And it really does mean the world to us, guys. Uh, we're right at a thousand members, which just blows my mind. And you guys are awesome for that. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts, and we'll see you on the next video.